Okay, welcome back to the introduction to linguistics class and today we will discuss about introduction to discourse analysis Okay, so previously we have talked about the psycholinguistics, phonetics and phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics and also pragmatics a little So today we will discuss about introduction to discourse analysis Okay, so the question is when we are having this topic what is discourse analysis? All right, let's check. So, um, in our daily interaction, we can describe the process like this. There is a speaker, and then we have the text, and then we have hearer. So, uh, everything that is written or uttered by the speaker is called text. What is text? Everything that is written or spoken by the speakers for example just like when you are saying hello that is a text and then you write um, the book is here that is also text and then you have a paragraph that is also a text so the question is what is discourse analysis discourse analysis is the process of understanding a text by um, paying attention to everything that gives meaning to this text that's it. So we can describe it like this. So when uh, we, when we want to understand a text, what we have to pay attention is everything that gives me, that gives meaning to this text. That is what we call discourse. So simply we can say that discourse is anything like the speakers, like the context, time, and everything that gives meaning to this text. Like oh, when someone is saying, um, "Do you like it?" And then we can understand the word it from the speaker when we are analyzing the discourse. Uh, for example, is your friend says, uh, do you like it by and uh, while giving you a chocolate, for example, and then you know it refers to the chocolate because you have the discourse. So discourse is everything that gives meaning to a text and then that is what we are going to analyze in discourse analysis. What is the use? The use is by analyzing the discourse, we can find the right meaning as the intention of the speaker in our daily interaction. That's it. So, text is the object of discourse analysis as we can see in the previous slide. And this text can be classified into two types. The first classification is the spoken text. Spoken text is everything that is spoken, like the name. The example is when someone is saying what's up yeah the utterance what's up now we can understand it has more than one meaning the first one is what's up means what is happening or asking for your condition what's up in Bahasa Indonesia we can say that as apa kabar or something like that what is the right meaning yeah to find out the right meaning we have to analyze the discourse for example Ketika in our classroom someone is crying and then you are saying what's up the person crying is part of the discourse and then we can find the meaning of what's up is ada apa not apa kabar that is what we call discourse analysis the second type of the text is what we call written text it is like the writing free yeah, or any other writing that is in written form and both of these are class, uh, are included in the classification of text. Both are text. Okay, now um, that we have talked about this one, let's move to the next part. Um, in English tests, for example, we can use this discourse analysis to find the correct answer. For example, for number one, we want to uh, uh, we want to figure out or we want to know. Who is the woman most likely here you have the writing woman it means we are talking about the who is the second speaker right so let's check the complete dialogue I'd like to mail this package please first or second class here we can see some clues that becomes the discourse like mail and then you have package and then you have class and you have first or second from this discourse we can answer this question yeah, by analyzing this discourse, we can answer this question. Seeing this one, I believe that everyone is agreeing, or everyone agrees that the answer is a postal 
worker so we can guess we can find out who a person is by analyzing the discourse the other one is when we have this question where does this conversation probably take place we can guess or we can understand the location by paying attention to the dialogue and then analyzing the discourse here we have other uh, some keywords like flowers and then bouquet it means they are talking about flowers and perhaps they are in a florist shop because this one is about the price also so they are not in a garden because they have the transaction it also works for number three who is the woman most likely to be the second speaker here we have uh, the complete one and then we can analyze the discourse here we have the prescription and then take a seat and then you have your medicine ready for a moment and then I believe everyone can understand that the second speaker or the woman is a pharmacist okay that's it now uh, when we want to understand the discourse is it like uh, popping out in our mind directly without thinking for example in some case yes however in our discourse analysis we have some approaches that we can use to analyze the discourse so here we have pragmatic social linguistics ethnography conversation analysis and systemic functional linguistics so pragmatics as we can see we can find the meaning in by using this one by studying this one because this part is focusing mostly on the context of the conversation and then we also have social linguistics so we can find the real meaning by paying attention to the social aspect that's why it is called social linguistics ethnography of communication so we are talking about the anagraphy uh, whatever involves in the conversation like who is speaking where they are talking um, when are they talking and everything involved this is also the approaches so we can understand someone's meaning by paying attention to the complete one we will discuss this later and then we also use conversation analysis the turn taking for example or the length of the speaker's talking we can see the real meaning or the real intention by analyzing the discourse using this approach or the latest one is we are having systemic functional linguistics an approach uh, a theory that says language is not just a form it is also has function and then by seeing the function like when you are saying a sentence in active and then you are saying a sentence in passive they have different meaning then you can find it in systemic functional linguistics so we can use these five approaches to understand a discourse so we can find the right meaning of someone's text whether it is in spoken form or it is in written form and we will discuss this uh, later okay that's it thank you for the attention and good luck